All right, we're going to address rumors with this sword pick right here. I so I got these special sword picks from on Amazon guard. <laughs> on guard. <laughs> now, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Uh, I, okay, first of all, look at this bag that the uh, swords came in. It's obviously from the Chinese oh. because their slogan is "It's not enough that we do our best; we have to do what's required." Oh, uh, oh! They were so close, <laughs> so close. <laughs> Just flip the reverse those, and then uh, and flip it and reverse it. We we have to do what's required. It almost sounds like a plea from slave laborers. We have to do what's required. Oh, I honestly, that's I sad. think that should be our slogan. It's not enough that we do our best. We we have to do what's required, or the master will whip us. Anyway, <laughs> so, so we're, we're going to use these swords. Oh, you're going to have to cut that. <laughs> we are addressing the rumors right now that watermelon tastes good with mustard. I can't believe we're doing this. We have our watermelon. It's right here mm -hmm. in our nice little ramekins. And we have, uh, let's take a look at the mustards we'll be using. Ooh. First, we have. This part I'm excited about. French's yellow, the classic. We also have my mustard. My is a French Dijon. I'll show the bottle. Yeah, would you? Thank you. And then uh, Beaver Brand <laughs> Stone Ground because Carly was like, doesn't oh, like some Stone beaver. Ground. Yeah. <laughs> and I do <laughs> love Stone Ground. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Here's the thing. Two of my favorite foods are watermelon and mustard. I put mustard on everything. So this makes sense to me. I don't get it <laughs> at all. Uh, although, I do know we're progressing as a species. When somebody figured out that you can put salt on sweet, like oh, right. salted caramel, I was oh. like, salted caramel Twix, probably the best thing that's been invented in the last 100 years. Right. <laughs> you know, honestly... <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Now I'm putting mine pretty thoroughly. Like I want it to be mostly yellow. Uh huh. If I can help it, you know. Okay. Uh, and it I'm was gonna... all yellow. <laughs> Thanks, Coldplay. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Okay. Delightful. I love that. I winced. Because it hit that tang center. Mm -hmm. I guess I haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> I would hope not. Jeez, are you okay? Honestly, it tastes like a hot dog, <laughs> but with a sweet finish. You know okay. how vegans will be like, try this watermelon. It tastes just like a side of beef. Right, right. Huh. These mushrooms taste just like a steak. Right. Okay, now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Mm-hmm. I have had watermelon and mustard before. Okay. I already knew it was great. It was a first for me. Now, uh, I have, I've I've only had normal yellow mustard. I had it last summer with my mom. Uh, but I'm really excited to try this Dijon and this Stone Ground because I want to see it, how it compares. Let's. Now, every charcuterie that I make includes some Stone Ground on it. And yes. I personally like to put it with sweet stuff. So I'm really excited to see how that one goes. But and, I'm going to start with Dijon we, first. We could have gone crazy. We could have brought on the honey mustard right. and the sweet hot. Because I do have a variety of mustards. I know. In the IFAF test kitchen. Well, because, you know, I like a variety of mustards. Right. I, I just really like mustard is the thing. I try to keep things on hand for Carl here. Yeah. This is the My Dijon mustard. Ma, it's French. It's M-A-I-L-L-E. Mm. Is the my short for mild? Because that's a very mild, mild mustard. Ew, no. That's a no, no for me, dog. I yeah. like my mustard, but. Yeah, I don't like those two together because this isn't tangy enough. Right. It's, this is uh, way too mild. This tastes almost like hummus. Yeah. That doesn't even taste like mustard. What is this? It's... You should have it on like a ham sandwich. I'm sure it's great on there, but it doesn't yeah. taste like mustard. Mm. 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 I mean, I'm not going to defend the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> 
defending the mustard. You're not going to defend the French? Tonight on IFAF. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is there's <laughs> yeah. French's, which is not a French mustard. Mm-hmm. And then there's my, which is a French mustard. <laughs> All right. Now we're doing the stone ground? Yes. You got me this like big, big ass piece of watermelon. And I want like half of that. So give me a second to cut this in I half. Just, I got to cut up how Walmart cut it up. Right, right. I put like zero effort into this experiment. Fair enough. Here we go with the stone ground. Now this one I have a feeling will be very good. Because I like to put stone ground with sweet. Who are you people? Mm. Mm. No. No. It's a big no from me. Yeah, that's not great, which is a shame because I like that raspberry stone ground mustard I have is delightful. So I assumed this would also be delightful. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Now, that being said, that yellow mustard with it, tits. Oh. I dig. The the yellow like. mustard, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you had to just go and get fancy, didn't you? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm a scientist. Hey. I like to try things out. Real I like quick, to experiment. <laughs> while we're doing this, mm-hmm. watch this watermelon video here. <clears throat> it's a weird, and I, and I wish I saved the TikTok that I saw after this video, but like, see how that watermelon looks like tongue? Like there's a whole, did you know this? There's a whole TikTok trend about, f- f- I don't know, fake food, fake fruit. Oh, what? Yeah, like people peeling the coating off of watermelons and and showing things that look like w- rubbery watermelon mm-hmm. and showing things that, like, I don't know, prove we're living in an alternate reality or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe the fruit's just rotting a little because I've had wa- <laughs> rubbery watermelon and it's been past its prime. Or not fully developed or mm-hmm. not um, like it didn't get enough water. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the was- day, this is an organic material. And it's going to act up sometimes. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I need a palate cleanser. I need just one piece of pure watermelon. No mustard. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sticking to the French's. I guess I'm being a wuss tonight because, mm-hmm. uh, ooh, that was just not good. I like it. But if you want these cute little swords... Amazon, eight bucks. <laughs> uh, we should totally become Amazon affiliates, by the way. We should. I just want you to know, they not only try their best, they have to do what's required. Right. Just like us. Bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs>